it's Sunday morning, 9.19. Just lay the baby down. Alana's feeling much better. It's her birthday! It's her birthday! You're in the video, too. Hi, people. Attention, hog. All right, so this is my breakfast this morning. It's about 100 grams of orange, about 100 grams of strawberries, three, three whole wheat crackers uh, with a quarter of a serving of peanut butter. So I think, let me see what the total is. On my phone... Of course, a stupid thing. Uh, 200 calories for this breakfast. Are you done? Good job. Now you just need to drink your water. Um, I want to see if I can play on your tablet, please. All right. So, what's the plan for today? Stay on calories. Um. Oh, there's my alarm to brush my teeth. No, is it? Um, I, I don't want to say the why, <laughs> because if I don't do it, but it's a nice day out. Shh, it's probably dead. Go plug it in. Um, I have to do homework, big time. I have to do homework. Today's Brian's day off, so I got all three of the kids, although he is supposed to take them to the movies later. Which is reason why, probably a reason why I can't go to the Y. Because we only have one vehicle raining right now. We had cookies. some cookies. We had some cookies. It was one serving of turkey pepperoni and one string cheese. Uh, I don't know how much that is. Probably about 120 or something like that. Here's little Lexi. It's Alana's birthday, May 4th. Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. Haha. -ha. Look at you doing dummy time. Like, I'm a good, like, two and a half feet away from her right now, and it looks like I'm, like, right up on her. I wish this camera would back up a little bit. Are you going to roll over? You're acting like you're going to roll. You going to roll? You going to roll? Oh, you going to roll? It'll be the first time. Go on. You're thinking about it. You almost did it. You don't need to be getting in her face. Wait, wait, hold on, wait, stop. 
cakep. Aduh, du, 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 du. Ah, tik, 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 tik. Nah, oh, stop, stop. Talk to me. Hey, birthday girl. Right on the lens, and then you you won't record things right. Can I hold the camera? Okay. Oh. Uh, Point it right at what you want. Hold it steady and still. Try and keep it what you want to record right in the center. And you do do. Hey, hold on a second. Hold on a second. I'm gonna get a close up. That's too close, baby. Too close. No, yeah. I get it. <laughs> she stopped. What are you doing, baby? Are you hungry? Hello. Oh, are you hungry? You want a bottle? This is me. There's Daddy, there's Alana, the birthday girl, and there's Lexi, our new baby girl. Daddy. You can see that she looks exactly Mom. like me. Dada? Um, can I hold Dada. it? Daddy. Dada. Yes, you can, can hold I? it. Yes, okay. Can. okay. Now hold keep whatever you want to record right in the middle. Don't get too close. And here's Dada. And here's Hello. me. Don't get too close to it. Hello, Dada. Hello, Dada. And here's me. And here's Lexi, our new baby. Hi, Lexi. Oh. Well, five months ago. You gotta point at stuff, babe. Don't just point it anywhere. This is me. Turn it's been over ten minutes. It's about to die. All right, say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Hey guys. It is 1.25. I just laid Lexi down um, for her second nap. Did I tell you guys that I was 208.6 this morning? I don't think I did. Um, so yay! Um, 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 yeah. I'm finding myself kind of stressed right now. I know, so unusual, right? Because I have homework due and I can't stop touching my face! I have homework due and I really don't want to do it. And I'm avoiding it and I'm procrastinating and I'm just letting it eat at me for what reason? Why don't I just get it done? And what's even sicker is that I'm in this class alone, this online course, and so I could do it as fast as I wanted to. I could get the whole eight week course done in two if I wanted to. And still get paid the same amount of money. Still get the same credits. I get paid from the GI Bill and um so they give me the payment, and then I pay the school, and then I actually end up making money to go to school. That's why I'm even doing it. <sighs> anyway, usually you can work ahead to a certain extent, but you still have to um, have attendance, and you still have to like take part in discussions. So it still takes like eight weeks to go th get through it. But I could do it all so much quicker. But number one, these aren't excuses, just talking. Number one, I don't have a lot of t time to read. I am such a procrastinator. I hate writing papers. This class is really hard. I had a history class last term, and it was, like, super easy compared to this technology and society class. Like, there's a lot of reading, and, like, this second paper that's due, she wants three pages. And I know to a lot of people, like, that's not a lot, but... To me, it is. And what did I say yesterday? You didn't see the vlog, but you saw my catch-up vlog. Don't blow things out of proportion. Just start it. Just start. 
Stop sitting there worrying about how big of a task it's going to be and just start doing it. Then at least you'll feel good enough about that that you're actually starting something. Plus, Brian has the kids out, so this is like the perfect opportunity for me to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to get it done. It's Sunday, and everything's due on Tuesday. So I've got to do the reading, I've got to do the discussion post, and I've got to do the paper um, by Tuesday night. But the first discussion post is due tonight. <sighs> I do, I'm not good at focusing, I'm not good at concentrating, and I'm a horrible procrastinator. Okay, so, just break this down into steps. I've got to read chapter two. So during, this, during the baby's nap, right now, my goals are to read the rest of this chapter without turning on the television, without getting a snack, without getting on the computer, just read this all the way through. Then, after I'm done reading that, I can give myself a pat on the back. I can plan what we're going to eat for dinner tonight. And then I can mess around on the computer for at least an hour. Those are my goals. Also, I wanted to share that I had lunch and I had the same chicken taco type things that I had last night. Like 400 and something calories, which I know is a lot. I was really craving, which I haven't been having a lot of cravings, so it's been really good, um, but I was really craving something really yummy, so I ate that for lunch, and then I also had a morning snack of um, some turkey pepperoni and a Weight Watchers string cheese. Don't know if I mentioned that or not. I think I might have. Yeah, I think I already mentioned that. Okay, cut. <laughs> Alright, so those are my goals. I'm going to do it right now. Okay, so it's been about two minutes, and I still haven't picked up the book. <laughs> oh, what is wrong with me? It's like it's like I'm avoiding it like the plague. <sighs> I picked up my phone, I drank my water, I looked around the room. It's like, come on, Sarah, just pick up the book. <sighs> I can hear Lexi make a noise upstairs like she's not really crying, but she's fussing. Usually she goes down for nap really well, and now I'm just using this as an excuse not to do what I'm supposed to do. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the book into the other room. Maybe the change of scenery will put me in a different state of mind, and then I will actually do it. Yes, interrupted again. I heard something downstairs, and I thought it was Brian and the kids, but it was the neighbors. Um, it's 7 after 2. I had a pork roast in the refrigerator from the grocery store the other day, and I had to either get it cooked or get it frozen. Uh, so I decided to throw it in the crock pot. It's too late to eat it for today, but I figure uh, we could eat it tomorrow. I had this in the pantry, which is the Campbell Slow Cooker Sauces. This is apple and bourbon barbecue, and you just throw the roast in there that you just buy at the uh, the meat department, and then you just pour this over it and put it in your slow cook. Well, okay, you put the roast in your slow cooker, you pour this over it, and then you set it on low for seven or eight hours or on high for four to five. And then you're supposed to shred it, mix it with the sauce, serve it on sandwiches, or however you want to eat it. It suggests that you could eat it with corn and coleslaw, which sounds good to me. Um, and then it had a little uh, tip recipe to put it put the leftovers on a pizza or something so I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with it um, but you know it's in the crock pot and I'll do something with it tomorrow I still have to figure out what I'm doing for dinner tonight but for now I gotta get back to my studying real quick I think the family's almost home it's taken me almost two hours but I'm on the last page of my chapter oh my god how they freaking Louia hi guys I lost the camera so I didn't show you my dinner, but I had the leftover asparagus and mushrooms that I had the other day, along with a little bit of this. I had another one of these rice pilaf, uh, ready rices. I had almost a full serving of that, and um, I'll show you. And a little bit of salmon. I saw something on Pinterest the other day that had rice, salmon, and asparagus mixed together, and I thought that would be good, and I had this in the pantry. So, it was a pretty healthy filling dinner. It is 6.20. Alana's feeling better. 
eating a TV dinner on her birthday. <laughs> uh, next weekend's the party. Be making a cool cake and everything. Hey, everybody! <laughs> We're going up for tabby time. And I'm actually got my camera on a tripod today so that we can kind of see you getting a bath. Huh? There's a lot in the bathtub. You had to get all three uh, baths today. Oh, bright light. Because, oh, my head's going to be cut off for a minute. Because Lexi Bell was supposed to get one yesterday and Daddy forgot. doing really good with the zippity zip though. We're going to start doing both arms out every first and second nap. Yeah. And then we'll just see what happens. We're not going to put any pressure on ourselves to get it done by a certain time, are we? If mommy has to buy another zippity zip, then that's what we have to do. Right? And for the feeding here, I don't swaddle her arms, I just put the swaddle sack on so after I burp her, then I just have to swaddle her arms and lay her down. to your babies. Hey guys, so it's Sunday night and it is 10-12. Brian's upstairs doing the dream feed right now. Um, I am like 
15 calories under my goal or something for the day. I didn't get any dessert today. That's because I had a high calorie lunch. Um, but I wanted to show you this slow cooker um, pork roast that I shredded up. So that'll be for dinner tomorrow. But now we have to get back to Game of Thrones. Hi guys! I'm, I still got you on the tripod. <laughs> it's 11.40. Hubby and I are heading to bed. Do I like skinnier? You know, I wanted to mention how good I feel. And I always know that I always do, and it's not just that I feel good, that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, and I'm doing what I set out to do. It's like I physically feel better. I feel this, like, wash of goodness. It's like an energy. It's something that happens after a few days of um, eating less and eating better. And I'm not one that usually believes that kind of stuff, somebody tells you that, but I seriously do. I feel... I literally feel lighter and I just feel good inside. If that could just propel me through the rest of my life. Um, anyway, today was an overall good day. Um, Alana's fifth birthday. Can't believe my little ladybug is five years old. Um, Looking forward to her party next weekend. Glad she's feeling okay. Um, so far, so good. She hasn't had a fever since um, I think since last night, although she was complaining of her ears hurting earlier today. Um, tomorrow's my day off again because Brian has leave, so I'm going to get my homework done and um, just chill out tomorrow. So... Um, my reflection that I'm going to leave you guys with tonight is uh, one of many great quotes I have pinned on Pinterest over the past couple of years. And I just found it just now and I think it's pretty fitting with my overall mental state. Is learning to ignore things is one of the great paths to inner peace. Do you agree, Brian? Absolutely. Or were you ignoring me? Learning to ignore things is one of the great paths to inner peace. <gasps> Wonders never cease, people. So, <laughs> remember to let the little things slide and hold on to the big things and you'll all be a little happier. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.